Also something to feel very good about on this Friday, we are hanging out with our KPRC2 insiders here in Studio B. We have got such a great show coming up. Yes, uh, we have a self-proclaimed love doctor. She's here and she says the best medicine is her award-winning wine. Dr. Benita Ledette is here to give us a taste of those magical love potions over there. Then the ultimate rap showdown is coming to Houston. We are getting all the details from Ultimate Rap League founder Troy Smack Mitchell, and we're going to try to impress him with our rapping skills Are in we? a head-to-head -head rap battle, Tessa. Okay, I'll, I'll get ready for that, but we also have to get ready for Friday Night Lights. This is my favorite time of year coming up, and KPRC's big game coverage kicks off tonight. Milk Camp getting us all fired up. Where else? A pep rally. It's out at Fort Bend ISD's George Bush High School. Yeah. Hey, Mel. Hi, <laughs> God. I've always wanted to run through one of these, but we are here. The pep rally is getting started and we've got all the details on our big game coverage, how to watch live high school sports free that is coming up today on Houston Live. Woo! Live from Studio B and KPRC2, Houston Live starts now. Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to Houston Life. It is August 25th, 2023. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Tessa Barada. Today is so special because we have another group of KPRC2 insiders right here in our studio. Y'all don't be shy. Y'all can make noise. Do whatever you want. All right. <laughs> yes. Yes. We even have some longtime viewers here as well. So thank you guys all for taking the time. Everyone who tried to get tickets. And a reminder, we're going to be inviting our studio audience in regularly. So if you're not here now, uh, don't, don't give up, okay? Okay, we're gonna keep keep trying because we want to see you all. Yeah, we love that. And also, we have some former wine club members in the house. We have a lot of longtime viewers here. Uh, Y'all message us on Instagram, and we interact with so many of you. And it's just it's so lovely anytime we can have our audience in studio. That's right, and it's free to be a KPRC to insider. So, it is totally free. Yeah, so we encourage you to join and come hang out with us. I'm very curious, by the way, to meet this love doctor who says that wine is the key to. How do you say, spice up your life? Yeah, yeah, spicing it up. There are certain things that you could do to keep it spicy. You have strawberries, maybe some dark chocolate. I mean, I've heard of a lot of things, oysters. I had oysters last night. Kara called, by the way, fantastic spot. Oh, you did? But I don't know if any of those things have ever worked for me. I mean, I always feel like mood is everything and it's all it's all in, in the mood. Wine does put me in a very moody kind of place. Red does. Daytime to me is a white wine, maybe a sparkling rosé, but I think I think red wine is a is a, a whole mood. Is it maybe because like you're a little weird? No. What? No, I'm <laughs> No, I'm saying like goosey goosey. You have a couple drinks. You're like, hey, you're let's, relaxed. Let's hold hands. Yeah. Oops, my knee touched your knee. Oops. Do you know when I was a kid, we used to play spin the bottle all the time. <laughs> No, I did. I didn't know that. Here's the thing. I didn't know that. You all know that I'm from Salt Lake City, right? And so my mom would, anytime like the cousins would come over. No. This is, this is not what it sounds <laughs> like. <laughs> my mom would be like, let's play spin the bottle. It's because her version of spin the bottle was different. Okay, what did she think you did? You know that's a kissing game, right? Well, yeah, when I was like 18, I realized it was a kissing game. <laughs> what and did so your mom think it was? All the time growing up, it was like spin the bottle. Would be It would be like, oh, the bottle landed at you. So it's your turn to, I don't know, tell a story or have a bite of the dessert or... I'm serious. So growing uh, up, so I would be the kid suggesting like, let's play spin the bottle, not realizing what I was suggesting. Well, now we know. We're better for it. And I'm glad you learned finally when you were 18 what spin the bottle was. Oh, you know, you are, I, I can tell you had a different upbringing in, in Utah, but I think it's made you everything you are today. Like, for example, when I'm walking down the hall and I see you and you're in the dressing room and you're so excited and I'm like, hey, Derek, what are you doing? I mean, do we have video of this? Of what? Of oh, this. Here. Well, oh my gosh. I like to use pens at work, but my pens are out of ink. So I'm... Okay, what about just like a regular pen? What, what do you mean a regular pen? Like, why, like... Like a boring pen? So, is this a quill? Or do you have quills? This, well, kind of. I mean, <laughs> sometimes the, the ink leaks, which is why I have to wrap it in this thing. Look how convenient. Look, how convenient. It is, it's so convenient, like... See, he, oops, hold on. And my hands I were stained blue. He it. had See? ink like, all over so his nice. hands. He loves to use fountain pens. Writes, like, Look, he even made me my own 
calligraphy. I here. was writing your name. I think wow. that the art of handwriting, I mean, you know how even in some schools cursive is now not being taught because everyone is thumb typing, everyone's on their devices. I think it's kind of nice to use an old fashioned pen and ink and yes, if I'm writing a card to someone, I will use a fountain pen. I saw how much joy it brought him and we have people in the audience shaking their head. They say yes, the fountain pen gets the round of approval. Right. Applause for the fountain pen. The yes. Fountain pen. Okay. And you know what? I even recently I had a dinner a few weeks ago and I sent a thank you note and the recipient said, you know, I don't remember the last time I received a Thank you. No, I think it's, it's all kind emails, of a dying right? Art. Yeah. I highly probably. recommend Dromgul's in Rice Village. You go there. You choose a little pen. You you choose. I mean, they have like 900 colors of inks. Right. It's so fun to go ink shopping, Tessa. Oh, well, I'm learning. I'm learning how much fun it is. But I will say, getting a handwritten note is very special, and it is nice. But we're in the news business. I'm like pen and pad, note paper. You, you know, like scribbling it in, and Derek's like. It's <laughs> eloquently signing the Declaration of Independence <laughs> with his a fountain pen. All I need is uh, a nice long wig, yeah, right? Yeah, get you, know? you a colonial of something yeah, going that would on. Be lovely. Yeah. Um, well, hey, I saw this story that really impressed me. There's an 84 year old woman who is a skydiver. And wow. she began, she, she started at a very young age, at I think five years old, because her uncle inspired her to do this. Oh, wow. And her goal now, her husband has passed away, sadly, but her goal is actually to skydive 1,000 times. Okay, skydiving, it is not for the weak. Look at her. Check her out. Oh, 84 my Four years old. And do you remember when George H.W. Bush went skydiving and a lot of people, there's so many things that we think, oh, I'm older now, I shouldn't do this or I can't do this. I, this woman is is proof that it's never too late to that do is, anything. That is inspiring. It's so inspiring. And, I mean, I told, you asked, have you been skydiving? I said, you know, it took a lot out of me. My equilibrium was off. I, uh, like, it hurt my ears in a weird way. And I said, but I, I do it again. Again, because it is such a beautiful, beautiful thing. And for someone to go halfway through, like 500 times, she's on her way to 1,000, I am so impressed. I am so impressed. She'll get there. I think she yes. has like 600 jumps uh, so far. Her name is Kim Noor. Her first jump was back in 1959. That was the black wow. and white photo we just showed you. She was 20 years old. Wow. And then she took a 37 year break because her husband, who also uh, you know, jumped out of planes, right? Uh, he was injured testing some equipment. So she thought, you know, I'm not gonna do this anymore. Give and it a he break. passed away and she thought, I'm gonna go for it. So I love it. Time is now. I love I, it. When I first moved to Houston seven years ago, I can't believe it's been that long. We went skydiving for Houston Life out at Skydive Space Land How in Rocheron. Fun. <gasps> yeah, and this day, I remember being so afraid because the description and the training that you go through uh -huh. beforehand, they tell you essentially you're like arching your back backwards as you fall out of the plane. To me, that sounded like the scariest thing ever. Like, why would I do this? Right. That was actually the best part of the whole jump. Just Putting your your faith in, in the the skies above. Oh, look at your perfectly windblown hair, Derek. It's it, beautiful. It, it, well, I, I mean, it, it is just windblown hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's just blown by the wind. <laughs> uh, but that's the guy What's who your secret? I jumped Jump with, from a plane. It was awesome. I cannot wait to go back. Yeah, it's it, it's amazing. The views are incredible, and I was thinking that the whole time. It's like, why am I going to jump out of a perfectly good a perfectly good, good plane? Yes, the whole time. I think we should do it again. Hey, speaking of like arching your back and jumping out like that, didn't you have a little issue, didn't you throw out your little? A back issue? You did. How many people in our studio audience, have y'all ever thrown out your back? Anyone? It's so painful. And you know it can be like debilitating, right? It happened to my sister once, like she she was on the floor for eight hours until her husband came home it's from work. It's terrible. So this happens to me every few years. I will throw my back out and I kind of can't move for a couple weeks. You're stuck in a spot. Stuck in a spot. And so over the weekend we were in New Orleans because Brandon started grad school at Tulane. Um, our viewers probably know that. And we slept in this hotel where I swear the mattress was like sleeping on a brick. It was a beautiful hotel. The beds I didn't love. So <laughs> Monday morning I was getting ready to come to work. Okay. And I was just doing my hair, which consists of rubbing some paste <laughs> in my hand and doing this. I mean, that's that's like pretty much how I do it. Uh-huh. And suddenly I threw my back out. No. I was in so much pain. No. I couldn't even speak. And I was able to like, hey Siri, text Brandon. I just threw my back out. And so he came upstairs. I couldn't move. And what's he gonna do? I mean, how does he, he had to carry you? What happened? Oh no, because that anything, been it was it was so, so unbelievable. Your text, he, he, Siri that heard you. Siri talk. <laughs> Siri's like, I will text Brandon. I will text Brandon. Literally, Siri, Siri, Siri text Brandon, Brandon that we're live on TV. 
please. Thank you. Sorry, Brandon. Cancel. My, Thank you. My back is just fine now. It's so weird. We're better. Anyway, no, I'm glad he was there because he put my socks on. He put my clothes on. Anyway, physical therapist knocked it out, and I came to work that day. Yeah, they I remember. Fixed it, like a I couldn't believe you were here. You were like, I threw up my back, and I was like, when? I You're know. Like this morning. I'm like, how are you here? You know what they told me though? A lot of people will go on a trip. They'll sleep in a strange bed and they will throw their back out the next day. Your body's like, uh-uh, uh -uh. I know where you are. You're not home. Get back home right anyway, now. And Brandon's back in New Orleans now, but at a different place to stay. Okay. So it's all okay. Good. good. No more backs being thrown out. Uh, okay, well, we have a packed show and still yes. ahead, the pinnacle event in the battle rap world. It is coming to Houston. And today we're getting a preview of all the excitement from Ultimate Rap League founder, Troy Smack Mitchell. And we will even dare to drop some bars at him for a special Freestyle Friday, Tessa. So we're gonna embarrass ourselves. It's but it, okay. listen, if you're feeling a little lovesick, we've got a love doctor in-house and she's prescribing her award-winning wine to get your love life, or lack thereof, back okay. on track. And don't go away, Houston Life will be right back. Welcome back on this very special Friday with our studio audience in the house. Yeah, you're on TV right now, literally right now. It is so much fun getting to know uh, some of our KPRC2 insiders. And you know we love a good cocktail at Houston Life. So when the self-proclaimed love doctor offered us a taste of her award-winning wines, we were all ears. Absolutely. So Dr. B, welcome. Now it's Dr. Benita Lede, but you call yourself Dr. B, the love doctor. Excellent. And you brought us some delicious wine. So tell us how you got into the wine game. Well, actually I was trying to bless a young man. Um, at, we were having an award show, a gift show, and the, the wine didn't make it to me on time. So then I started texting the people like, what's going on? Why haven't I received the wine? But I didn't realize I was texting the winery owner and the crafter of the wine. So when so when she responded back to me, she says, you know, you're the love doctor. I was like, yes. Yeah. She says, I think that uh, you'll be perfect for one of my brands. You ever thought about having one of your own wines? I was like, oh, my God. I was like, no. I was like, I don't even know how to drink wine. I don't know anything about wine. <laughs> All of this. We went into this whole spill. But to make a long story short, she said, let's try a 90 day, um, a 90 day probationary period. And by the name, her name is Dr. Hope Foster of Signature Sips. And she said, let's do a 90 day. Um, trial probation period. I said, okay, and the rest, and the rest is history. Talk about falling into your destiny, right? A you happy just, accident, right? I, I love those happy accidents. So what are we going to be tasting today? So you're going to be tasting a Taste of Love Sweet Sensation Moscato. Okay, we'll start with that. We'll start with that one. Okay, okay and Moscato is typically known as a sweeter wine. Absolutely. A lot of people choose to drink it but, after brunch or after, you know, dessert, essentially. But this is not your average... <laughs> Moscato. Really? Okay. No, it's not. How is it different? First of all, you know, like you said before, it's it's award winning. Okay, so it's the top rated 100 wines in the world from the Sommelier Choice Awards. This wine is vegan, gluten free, natural flavors, and it has a bit of love potion aphrodisiac in it. So we call it the happy wine. I like to I like to make uh -oh. people happy. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. Here we go. I, I feel healthier already though yes. with the gluten free. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Tessa usually it, likes it sandwich it, all the way to the top. It smells. You, I like that you because you it hits your nose first, so yeah. it's got a really really lovely scent, and then you get to taste it, and it is good. It is good. It's not overpoweringly sweet. It is sweet, but any moscato kind of should be, right? Right, right. You described it uh, as a vegan wine. I think yeah. a lot of people are confused by this concept because wine is made with grapes. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize that animal products are used to help separate out the liquid from the bulkier parts, right. essentially from the skin. I didn't know that. Right. Yeah, like fish bladders are typically used, yeah. right? No thanks, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're right, so, yeah. so vegan is very important. Absolutely, and that's one of the things that the crafter and I decided on, um, uh, Dr. Hope, Hope Foster. We, when we went back and forth on trying to get the perfect taste, I said, listen, it's got to be healthy, but it's got to be happy, but it has to have love in it because I'm the love doctor, so we have to put love in it. So by her listening to me on what I wanted to craft, she went to work like, okay, exotic fruits, you know, like for love. Exotic fruits, right. Yeah. That, that I am getting a note of something like a, uh -huh. a tropical, some some sort of, yes. like not your average, you absolutely. know, bananas and strawberries right. or grapes, whatever. It's absolutely. So, but the love doctor title, tell me more about that. Are you in the business of matchmaking? 
making? Absolutely, yes. Because your girl's I am. a little single over here. Oh, I'm just wait a minute. Yeah, that's I'm just a saying. whole other segment. We have to get her <laughs> that's a whole other therapy session. Yes. <laughs> so what I do um, on my service side, I help people rediscover love for themselves because in every so season of life, you are in a different season of life. So you have to rediscover who you are in your present season. That is so perfectly stated. In Let's try this one. Season. Yes. And while uh, we pour the second uh, glass or mm -hmm. two of wine, we do want to point out you're a certified Christian. Life coach, yes. international public speaker, relationship expert, three times best selling author, chancellor of special events at Leaders Esteem Christian Bible University. You got a long <laughs> list of titles there, and now you can add winemaking to that list. Absolutely. So, what's your next chapter? Yeah. So, you know, I do have a lot of events coming up. One of the events we have coming up is the Billionaire Beverage Ball mm -hmm. uh, in September. I'm going to be at the Heritage Creole Festival. Um, we also have um, Damon Dash coming here uh, to Houston for. Uh, on September the 9th, I'm um, involved in that. We have uh, a purpose, uh, per curves on purpose um, fashion show that we're going to have that's uh, representing women with alopecia. So I'm the wine sponsor for that. So wow. A lot. Of, oh, and sip and paint. I'm sorry. We got a sip and paint coming up in Alvin, Texas. Perfect. Right. Yes. So I have a lot of things coming so up. So you're not busy at all. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. This, well. is, this is wonderful. This was the red wine from your, oh, this has got a bronze. Sommelier's Choice Award as well. Okay, yes. well, this is lovely as well. Right. So every time, anytime you see a, uh, a sticker, that means that that is the sticker to show that you are the top rated 100 wines from the Sommelier Choice Awards. Thank you so I much. And you brought us even cheese and fruit. That was so thoughtful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dr. Benita Ledette, thank you and congrats on all your success. Thank yeah. you. Very thank nice you. to Cheers meet you. Cheers to you. Maybe tonight's the night Tessa will find and find love. Yeah, All right, you never know. I'll take one of these bottles with the home. Love Doctor, we have shared a link on the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. And still ahead, there is a resurgence of battle rap, and its biggest stars are descending on Houston for an electrifying showdown. You can get details on Summer Madness 13 from the ultimate rap league founder, Troy Smack Mitchell. And it's a brand new high school football season, and we've got a brand new way for you to watch the local games. You can find them on our big game coverage, or B. GC. There That's you it. go. Streaming app. Mel Camp and Randy McElvoy are at George Bush High School in Richmond for a BGC pep rally. Hey guys. Oh my goodness. It is just epic here, isn't it, Randy? Yeah, what a great atmosphere. You know, it's excitement because high school football's back. They're ready to play football here at Bush oh, High School. We definitely are. We're going to give you details on our BCG. You're the man to tell us about it. And also, we have a little help from our friends here at George. Now, Big Game Coverage, presented by Taspit Law Firm. All right, welcome back to Houston Life. It is a brand new high school football season and a new way to watch the games. It's our Big Game Coverage streaming app. Yeah, we're bringing you all the games from all over Houston, the Houston area. Mel Camp out at a pep rally in Fort Bend right now at George Bush High School out in Richmond. She's there with KPRC2 Sports Director Randy McElvoy. They have all the details about what you need to know about streaming these free games. Hey, Mel. Hey, guys, look, I also have Thunder. Look at him, isn't he, isn't he a great pony? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, Randy, this is epic. High school sports yeah. kicking off. It's fun for you. It is, we, we've been doing the Friday football frenzy over there for 18 years now, and uh, it's fun to see all these players go through college and some on in the NFL, some are older now, and uh, have relatives coming up through the ranks, so we have a lot of fun, but something we launched last night, the Big Game Coverage app, BGC. You've seen all the promos. Uh, we're partnering with uh, many districts, including Fort Bend ISD. We're going to be streaming all kinds of football games, 150 football games. We're going to have, I think, some volleyball games, a lot of basketball, all the spring sports as well. It's a really cool way to connect with your school across the greater Houston area. But we're here at Fort Bend Bush. Oh, my God. It's so epic here. These guys yeah. are so awesome. 
I want to, I want, we're being really quiet right now because they can make some noise. Like I know, we have this whole team. We can make some noise. I'm going to be at the uh, the Friday football frenzy game of the week tonight is North Shore at the Woodlands. That's over the air on Channel 2. It's also one of our streaming games. We've got seven stream games tonight. Bush, we're right, right now, they're getting ready for their game tomorrow, tomorrow. night against uh, you... Cy Springs. It'll be at Cy Springs, <laughs> and that's going to be one of our streaming games as well. That's going to be, you guys are going to win tomorrow night, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a free way. You just simply search big game coverage, download it on your phone, any device. Uh, some games will be on KPRC 2 Plus as well, but it is free. And the no other subscription thing, fee. which is so awesome, and the other thing is if you're having trouble searching, don't worry, we have a QR code up on the screen right now, and you can scan it. Just open that camera on your iPhone and scan that QR code to get your big a free way to watch high school football in all high school sports. We've got it on the Big Game Coverage app, BGC. Check it out on your device. Download it right now. We launched last night. Big success. Much more coming up tonight. That is epic. And you know what? The pep rally is only just getting started. We are going to get right into it. Tessa and Derek, we've got more coming up for you here at George Bush High School. Go Bush Broncos, the yes. highlights, the schedules, scores, all of it on yep. that app. Very yes. cool. Back to pep rally. That that made me miss high school a little bit. I know, right? Oh my goodness. So fun. The band, the energy, all of it is amazing. Now we've got some fun stuff coming up. We're gearing up for some really fun games in our studio. We're gonna play with our KPRC2 insiders. Are there they ready? are. <laughs> yeah, they're ready. <laughs> also, he founded the biggest battle rap league in the country, and he's about to hear our rapping skills as oh, no. Tessa and I go ahead. <laughs> head to head <laughs> in a rap battle like you've never seen before and you'll probably never want to see again. Ever. Mac Mitchell is in our studio ahead of the ultimate rap summer uh, rap league summer madness 13. There you go. Houston life will be right back. Well, in case you didn't know, battle rap is a competitive art. It's born from the origins of hip hop culture. It is really thriving in the era of live streaming, thanks to Ultimate Rap League, a favorite of stars like Drake even watches Ultimate Rap League. And the league's biggest matchups are happening this Sunday right here in Houston. It's Summer Madness 13. Here to explain why this event is such a big deal, we are joined by Troy Smack, Mitchell, CEO and creator of Ultimate Rap League. Welcome to Houston Life. How you doing? It's How you doing? Thank you. Thank you for having me. What's up, Derek? What's okay. up, Chester? How you feeling? I honestly you feel, feel I feel a little nervous, but I wanna <laughs> I'm trying to get some um, energy from you and I yeah. really want our viewers to know why this is such a huge event and why it's so cool that it's in Houston this Sunday. Oh man, this is a big event because you know what I mean it's actually the biggest battle rap event that exists. You know, wow. it's like the Super Bowl of battle rap. You know, Summer Madness, the brand, you know, we have like a lot of VIPs that actually come participate and actually watch the event. We had people like Diddy, Sean Puffy Combs, 50 Cent, Drake, you know, Kevin Durant, they all pull up and actually like, you know, um, participate in watching, you know, the Summer Madness 13 and the Summer Madness brand. We're seeing some video right now of what people can expect at one of these events. Yeah. Fans clearly uh, go crazy watching this. Describe the, the vibe. I mean, are, are these stars just sort of making it up as they go? What's the vibe? I mean, some of them, some of them got the capability of actually good. freestyle off the wow. top of their head, but like, you know, a lot of them basically, you know, uh, they get their material, they prepare their material, and they rehearse it, and then they perform it in front of the crowds that we have. So, you know, I mean, everything is premeditated. You know, um, they go, they do their research on their opponent, they find out any dirt or what could be possibly oh. said to basically embarrass their opponent, oh my and then they gosh. perform it in front of the crowds, and everybody go crazy. Wow. See, I I should I should have known. See, I should have known that. Then I could have written the about the strategy for us. Yes, when we, we do could this have thing been. <laughs> mm. 
Mm, right. Okay. Yeah. So we could have been like, Derek, why is your Invisalign over there? It could have got in exactly. my hair. Right. Okay, exactly. <laughs> okay, so who are some of the headlines? Uh, <laughs> the oh, Sorry, I was warming up there. Yeah, some of the headliners for Summer Madness 13 is, you know, we got DNA, you know, he's going up against, you know, uh, Jerry West, you know what I mean? Which is like, he's like a rising talent, but DNA is like a vet, a veteran in, in the battle rap community. So like, you know, he's gonna, he's like the, probably the favorite in his particular battle. But we got like, you know, Tay Rock, of course. Tay Rock is another crazy, talented MC that he's performing this Sunday. He's going up against Av. So it's like a lot of good, good talent that's gonna be on the Summer Madness 13 card. So Jerry's actually here, hanging out, right? Yeah, Okay, yeah, we yeah, have yeah, him in yeah, studio yeah. with DNA, us. Yep, that's yep. so cool. So he's all ready for the battle on Sunday. Um, a lot of these stars, I mean, do they do this kind of, they live stream it. Uh, 140 million views in 2023 alone. So this yeah. is something that's gonna be watched over and over again. Does some of these rappers, do they get label deals out of it, or are, they, are you discovering new talent like that? Yeah, definitely. We got scouts that go around and basically look for new talent to bring them up into our organization, and um, you know, they do benefit a lot from basically participating on the URL stage. They get a lot of opportunities. We have some people that get music deals, and yeah. some people get like, you know, acting gigs and everything like wow. that, you know, so, I mean, it's definitely a, a, a platform that creates a lot of opportunity for these up and coming artists. Yeah, and I think I just showed my age. Like, do they get a record deal? The kids don't care about a record deal anymore. <laughs> yeah, they want TikTok. views you and streams, streams and followers, yeah. right? Which is why that's such a huge deal. For sure. Yeah. This is all going down uh, Sunday, yeah, August this 27th. Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday we at Warehouse Live. You know, um, you can order the pay per view too. You can go to the Caffeine app. You know, um, Caffeine is our strategic partner. You know, um, the order the pay per view. You know, um, yeah, and just, you know what I mean? Enjoy this history because, you know, it's definitely going to be history made on Sunday. Okay, there's gonna be a little history made here too. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We'll, oh, yeah, we're, ready? Gonna, we're gonna move to the other side of the studio okay. because Derek and I have a battle uh, to do. Here's you, know the, I yeah. gotta be, you know I gotta be a part of this. Yeah, please, well, please, Smack, please. I've never done anything like this before. So we're gonna essentially freestyle. We each have 30 seconds to rap. The only rule is that we must use the words Houston life at some point. I didn't know that when I was doing my rights. Oh really? Well, right. I didn't write anything. I'm just gonna be Good. making it. I'm glad. You get in the middle of All us because right. we're battling. Here and oh. you're in charge of me and Derek. Oh gosh, here we go. There you go. All right, Wait, so um, who's want to go first? I mean, me. I got, I've got the mic here. All right, ladies oh, first. Can you hold Tessa? this? Because I yes, need to get my. It's on you. My rap vibe. Okay, let us know when All the right, track is beat. ready. Drop a beat or something. I can't believe they want us to rap. When the producers told me this morning, I was like, okay, that's a trap. Ooh. But it is H Town, so I guess it makes sense. So I'm just trying to think, Tessa, don't be dense. Obviously, I need more Houston life of Derek, what rhymes with life. Okay, see, and I didn't even read yet. Try. Um, I am not a wife. That, there that you was go. close. Okay. That was close. Okay, okay. 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 Not a no, applause for Tessa. I get a little. That's no, really good. That was so okay. bad. That was so bad. All right. Oh my gosh. So, Derek, here, give me your cards. Okay, you can't wrap with nervous. your prompter in your You're going to roll this one. All right, Derek. You got it. It's on you. Okay, Let me... Smack. Last words of advice for me? Go hard. Go hard. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do my best. Let's cue the track. <laughs> okay, I've got a different track here. My name is Derek, and I'm here to say Houston Life is a okay. <laughs> we're drinking, we're dancing, we're rapping. And we even have a studio audience. That's a sound. We're trapping! What? It's trapping. Don't be judging. I'm not a rapper. I'm going to the crapper. Oh. <laughs> that was, that was oh painful. Oh my gosh. That really, we're so oh bad. Man, that was crazy. I am, I'm really sorry for everyone who had to witness that. That will not be winning any awards. Here's what you guys need to do. If you want to see some real rappers, you need a link for more information about Summer Madness 13. Swing by our website, HoustonLife.com. TV and click on the scene on section of Houston Life, and uh, we're gonna have to share that belt. Is there a prize? Yeah. I feel like a loser. I feel like a loser. I got a belt for the winner, and this is a crazy belt. I like this belt, but oh, yeah. um, you know, I think y'all both won. I'm gonna call it a draw. So yeah, like oh my Tessa gosh, y'all gonna have to share this. We'll practice. Yeah.
Y'all gonna have to share this. Hold one. it up, Derek. Come on. Derek. All right, okay, all right. Here we go. High. Thank you, Smack. Uh, Thank you so much. So love. Sunday, uh, August. Yeah, Sunday. 27th. This Sunday. You Warehouse know. Live. That right. is the place to be. There's the info on your screen. Doors open at 2 p.m. General admission starts at just $75. Smack. Thanks once again. Yeah. Thank you. And coming up on Houston Life, we are going from the Ultimate Rap League to Ultimate Insider Challenge. Do not miss all the fun action in our studio when two of our insiders will play some fun minute to win it games y'all ready for this all right all right now let's check in this belt is heavy let's check in with mel camp i'm not putting it down we earned this she's at the pep rally at bush high school hey mel Now, big game coverage presented by Taspit Law Firm. Welcome back to Houston Life and our pep rally here at George Bush High School. Now, this is just one of the schools whose games we are covering with our big game coverage. It's been very exciting. We launched it yesterday. And this is so epic to be able to have so many great schools. I mean, I know yes. you're probably biased. I am. Principal I am. James. We're the best school in Fort Ben ISD that we are. Looking forward to tomorrow night's game. I am, I am. I'm proud of these guys. They play with class and character on a daily basis. They exhibit those behaviors in the classroom as well and on the and in the school. So they just make me so proud. So when I know they go on that field, I know they're gonna exemplify everything I expect from them. They make me proud every day. Oh my gosh, it's so epic. And you know what? We don't just have the football players here. We have we have everyone. We everyone. have the soccer players, we volleyball. have the basketball, volleyball, basketball. golf. I heard Everybody. there's someone who plays yes. golf in here. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, sports Trainers, is so, everyone. Oh my it's so and you know what? One of the people who oversee all of this mm -hmm. is Coach Aldridge. Coach yeah. Aldridge, come on down. Yeah. Now this man is a bit of a champion. He is. It's very exciting to think that behind us we have some part for some future stars. But you were with the Denver Broncos. Super Bowl 32. You were there and won. Yeah, yeah, that was an exciting time. Just tried to bring those experiences to the kids and make sure they have a good time in high school. Yeah. How do you, from being very competitive, something like Super Bowl, and knowing there's a lot of competition and a lot of pressure on the kids at sport, like what can you give to them at school to help them kind of, you know, manage that stress? Uh, really, it's just hard work and dedication to whatever you want to do. You know, sports are only temporary, so we, we really focus on the future, not athletics. We focus on the future, academics, and what they're going to do after life, you know, at high school. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you excited for tomorrow night's game I mean back to yes. bringing it back to the sport yes, yes uh, we are we are you guys I think you're gonna you're gonna take it home to take it home tomorrow night hey we're gonna give 100% and have whatever yeah. the outcome is that's what it is but we're gonna play yeah. and it's really awesome because you can watch Bush's game tomorrow night if you download our BGC app now you can search BCG app or we can make it easy for you put the QR code up on the screen if you open the camera on your phone and then scan the QR code it'll take you straight to a link where you can download our big game coverage app and you can check out all the cool stuff, you know, like the highlights of the games, the schedules of the games. You can see exactly what time these guys are going to be playing tomorrow. So it's really cool to get that app. You get to stream 150 games for free, all fall and beyond. So it's pretty epic. It's good yes, we can do yes. this for the kids. Of course, And of the course. parents and of the course, grandparents. Of and aunts, Of course, uncles. everyone, the community. It's such a cool mm -hmm. thing. Well, you know what? We are here for a pep rally. Yeah, and I feel like it's go. I feel Let's like go. it's a little quiet in it here. It is. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to coach Aldridge. I'm handing it over to you. This is how it goes. Mel's having all the fun getting into it with the band, the cheerleaders, and is that like a macho man, Randy Savage uh, <laughs> mascot know. I'm seeing in the background? 
It is working, though. Uh, That's fullest the principle, principle for yeah. sure. Well, as a reminder, you can watch the games, highlights, check the schedules, get the scores on the BGC app. It is a one stop shop at your fingertips, and you can download that app totally free right now. Well, thank you, Mel. We love a good game on Houston Life. And since our Insider Studio audience is here today, we thought we'd play some fun games, but we need two Insider contestants to join us. So okay. we've got all of our Insider names yes. in this little box here in front of us. So, Tessa, don't look, but I'm please not. draw two names. Okay, here's there, one. There is a prize involved. Here's another. Uh, let's see. We have Veronica Magdaleno from Houston. She will be playing. And then from Katy, Texas, we have Deborah Shepherd. <laughs> Okay, it is game time when Houston Life returns. I hope they're ready. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Houston Life. All right, these are the lucky ladies. Veronica Magdaleno from Houston, Deborah Shepard from Katy. How y'all feeling? Just great. Y'all <laughs> yeah, look great. Ready to go. I think um, we didn't do a great job of explaining the way these games are going to work. So right. um, essentially, this first one, you gotta use a spoon to transfer the ping pong balls from that bowl to the tops of these cups. How do you feel about that? Okay. Right. Right. Okay. They feel great. <laughs> Just wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Tess. Where are from? I worked at UT Med School in the medical center. Okay. So it was it was fun, but it's time to go. <laughs> um, while they're exploring that, I'm gonna. It was very nice. And Deborah, uh, you're from Katy. Yes. Tell us about yourself. Well, I've lived out, lived out in Katy about 25 years, and I live in Old Town Katy, and raised two children, married 30 years to Robert. And I'm retired. Okay. So. Well, congratulations. Thank what you. are you retired from as Tessa uh, well, is just depositing the cup? Well, I had worked small. at Katie Printers. Okay. I worked there for a while, and I worked at an oil company before that. Okay. So, Very nice. Yeah, my well, fluids. We are so glad uh, that okay. you are part of our KPRC2 insider family. Okay. Now, I demonstrated to show them how hard that was because okay. it's very okay. finicky, but you okay. guys are going to have a minute on the clock. Okay. And yeah, just try your best, have fun. It is really difficult, but um, it's the ultimate insider challenge, so Woo. we're going to play. Okay, okay, we've got one minute on the clock for every single game. This is just the first of three, and we do have a very cool prize. It is a family four pack to Wings Over Houston, the air show that's happening at Ellington October 15th. Really, really cool. good prize. Okay. By the way, it's worth 450 bucks, <laughs> so it's a good prize pack. Okay. okay, you feeling ready? Yes. Okay. Go Let's get us. <laughs> wait, go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, go, go for go. it. Okay, okay, go. Okay, <laughs> spoons in mouth. We got Veronica and Deborah. And as Tessa demonstrated, it is much more difficult than it looks. It's so hard. So just getting that ping pong ball on the spoon. And easy does it. Easy. The crowd is easy. going for it. Easy nice does it. Slow. Okay, nice looks like Veronica slow. is very oh. close. Oh, so okay. Close. So close. That's okay. We still have 36 seconds. Okay. Now they're saying the trick is to lay your spoon on the cup and then slowly, slowly ever so slowly. So if you can get your spoon just to rest on the top of that cup. Okay, Veronica's got the oh, rest. The focus. The focus. Very, very focused. Look Here at that. Mm. Oh. This is very okay. Veronica's oh, got one. Wow. One point. You got 12 seconds left, ladies. Veronica from Houston, Deborah from Katie. Here we go. Okay, Veronica's going in for her second one. Three, three two, two, one. one. Oh. oh, okay, that's okay, that's okay. okay. Veronica takes the lead with one point. Let's move on to this next wow. game. You'll also have a minute. Woo. This one is not as difficult. No. We have okay. two balloons that are already blown up, and the point of this game is to not drop the balloon. If you okay. do drop the balloon, you lose one point, yeah. any okay. point that you've yes. accrued, Never. you accrued, and you get a one? point for okay. every right article of clothing okay. or accessory right right you there. can put on. So for instance, I would keep the balloon in the air while I'm putting on a jacket, putting on a hat, putting on a boa. Does that make wow. sense? Yes. Okay. Deborah, See? you're not into this. No, no, you can do this. Can you can do, do this. Do okay. not let the balloon hit the ground and like maybe go way up. Okay. Flip on the hat. Oh, oh okay. my God. See how hard that is? Okay. okay. That's you so hard. You can do this. Okay. You can do this. Okay. I'm going to come over here. One minute on the clock. Are you ladies ready? Yeah, little. Okay. Keep it in the air. Ready? Go for it. Okay, go. Pop it up, pop yeah. it up, pop it up, pop it up. You gotta pop it up. Yep, okay. You yep. can't hold it, don't hold it. You no, gotta okay. pop it up. Just tap there it. There we go. Yep. Just tap it. Nice. Okay, Deborah's got yeah. one point, two Good. points. Good, Good. 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 Good.
And there goes okay. the panic. Panic it okay. down. Don't That's worry. Okay. Don't worry. We have insurance okay. here. It's all good. Keep going. Okay, Jennifer. Yeah, keep hitting it. Be She's careful. got three points. Be Veronica careful. is going for her third point as oh. well. She's almost oh. got it. Oh, right behind you, oh. Deborah. Oh, 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 don't let it. Oh. Okay, you lost just one point. Oh. That's okay. Keep going. Okay. Keep, keep going. You got it. Yep. You got it. You can do another hat. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Veronica, you doing okay? <laughs> okay, we got, oh. we, we got 18 it's seconds so hard. left here. It is so hard. Oh. It's here. harder than it looks. Good, good. Keep keep having it. We have one, two, three, four points for Veronica. Deborah, Nine, looks like you have eight, four points. Seven, lost a couple. Six, five. Okay. Four. It's okay. Three. And it two, looks like one. Okay, Whoa. that line is up there. <laughs> so yes, very nice. But wait, there's more. Ladies, this is your third game over Ooh. here. It looks like Veronica has four articles of clothing. Deborah, you also have four or five. Two, you lost three, a couple points. Four and uh, that, but that doesn't yeah. count that last. Point. Okay. And I had one, two. So oh. it looks like for our final five. score, we have two to four. Correct? Is that right, Deborah? Two yeah, points. Yeah, Veronica, yeah. you you got four. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The bow is over great, here to these cups. Yeah, they're probably hot here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Do we take follow one? Derek. This also what the bow is on. Let's keep them on. Okay. Come on over. Go ahead. So we have some balloons here, and the goal of this game is to blow up the balloon into the cup. You cannot touch the cup with your hands, but you can touch the balloon with your hands. Mm -hmm. You blow up the balloon, and you have to move the cup I'll across try. the finish line. I'm going to show gonna, you. Are you show them? Oh okay. Sure. Oh, no. I can't. Across the finish I'm not line, good at just balloon like that. OK, any questions? I need a balloon blowing lesson. Uh, okay. Well. Okay. Well, good thing I I'm not playing. Deborah and Veronica okay. are about to give you one. Okay. One minute on the clock. We ready for this third round? Ladies, how you feeling? Good. <laughs> good. I'm not gonna pass. You're now. doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. good. You're doing a great job. Okay, let's do this in three, two, one. Go for it. Okay, you got this. Veronica, very nice. Good, keep coming down. Got it, Finish got it. Go, 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 go. There you go. Nice, Deborah. nice, nice Deborah. Okay, go. good job. It's one, one to one, one so far. Go. Okay, you can do this. Veronica just got her second cup across the go. finish line. Go. Deborah is moving in with her second as well. Nice, Deborah. Okay. Nicely done. Grab another done. one, grab another and one. And you know what? You don't have to take the cups from the back. Just a little pro tip here. Oh, cup down. That's okay, I'll grab this one. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Three to four. It looks like 20 we have more seconds. 20 seconds on the clock. Yeah, and you can you take the it. cups from the front. You can take these up here. <laughs> You got it, Deborah. You got this. You got this. Oh, make sure they go across that finish line. Okay, Four, three, three, two, two one. one. All right, and <laughs> time is up. Okay. This is going to be close. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one, two, three, man. four, five, six. And that one, unfortunately, is not it. across the finish line. But each got six points in there. Woo. I believe that makes you. Veronica our winner with the total oh. number of points wow. exceeding Deborah's. Uh, congratulations, ladies. You are oh. troopers. And that was, I, still, I couldn't even blow up my balloon the whole time. I was trying to blow up the balloon. Oh. Ladies, great job. Thank you. You, you had fun? Moment to catch yes, your I breath. Did. Fun. yes, I did. Okay, Veronica, do you want to know more about you, what yes. you've won? Okay, so again, this is a four pack to Wings Over Houston. Okay. I'll take one. To Family okay. Chalet. This is Sunday, October 15th. Ooh. The package will come with two adult tickets, oh, two tickets for nice. children. Total value of this prize pack $450. And also, it includes uh, complimentary breakfast there as oh, well. So there you go. Thank you, Veronica. So yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. You can get your tickets now. Anyone who isn't Veronica and didn't win them, you can get your tickets now. Uh, Wings Over Houston Air Show is happening Saturday, October 14th, and Sunday, October 15th. It's out at Ellington Airport. Kids age five and under, they get in free. Six to 14, you'll need a children's ticket, and anyone 15 and up will need an adult ticket. Yeah. WingsOverHouston.com. We've also shared a link on our website, Thank Houston you. Life. Thank you. Dot TV. And what is this? Oh. Okay. Oh, Remember, hey. we're not letting oh, you all wow. empty handed. Oh. Woo. Give a little trophy and a Houston yeah. Live prize back. <laughs> all right. Woo. Very, very nice. Woo. We will be right back. Yeah, thank Great you. job, ladies. Thank, thank you for.
We were just saying to our studio audience here, that hour flew by. Don't you think it all flew by? It was so fun. You guys brought so much energy, and those games were amazing. I legit cannot... I can't blow this. Fun I don't know how they want. about Tessa look, Bonetta, look, look. she cannot blow up a balloon. You've never blown up a... <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my God, thanks I so much. It. To our insiders, y'all have a great weekend. We yeah. love you. We'll see you on see Monday. You on Monday.